Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to make your awareness bright in the present moment. In other words, as soon as the mind is going to leave the breath, you want to know. Bring it right back. Don't let your awareness blur out or get dark. Because it's only when your awareness is bright that you can see things, what's going on in the mind. We're going to be making our candles for the rains retreat today. And candles are a symbol of brightness. The Buddha talks about brightness quite a bit. He says that the brightness of your life depends on what you do. As he said, some people come dark into life. In other words, they come in bad situations with lots of handicaps, lots of problems. Other people come bright. But whether you come dark or bright doesn't matter. What matters is how you go. Because some people come bright, but they misbehave themselves, they break the precepts, they cause all, all sorts of harm for themselves and other people. That's called going dark. And you can come as bright as you want, but if you, if you go dark, then your life has been a waste. Other cases where people come dark, but they go bright. They get their behavior in line with the precepts, they develop good qualities of mind. They're generous, virtuous, develop concentration, discernment, mindfulness, compassion, goodwill. These are the things that make you bright, make you go bright. So that's what really matters. So even though we do have the symbol of the brightness here, don't let the brightness be just in the candles. You want your mind to be bright, too. You want your life to be bright as well. Of course, the main way of brightening your mind and your life is to meditate. But a meditation on its own can't do the work. The way you live your life is important, too. This is one of the reasons why we have the precepts, and we go through them every week to remind people this is what you've got to be really careful about, especially that fourth precept against lying. It seems like the Buddha placed the most emphasis on this of all the different precepts. He said, this is the one that really makes all the difference. So you have to be very careful about your mouth. Because as John Fuang said, if you're not careful about your mouth, how are you going to be careful about your mind? So be very careful about what you say. The Buddha said, make sure that only things that you know are true come out of your mouth. Particularly, don't let anything come out that you know is false, because that cheapens your mouth, it cheapens your speech. And when you cheapen your speech, it shows you're not showing any respect for it. How are other people going to show respect for your speech as well? And if you're very careless with the way you talk, then when you sit down, it's not just your external speech, your internal speech gets careless as well. You don't notice this, you don't notice that, and you pretend like something comes up that's important, you pretend it's not important, or vice versa. If that's the way your internal speech is, then your meditation is not going to go very far. So do what you can to brighten both your mind and your life, so that the brightness, as I said, is not just in the candles that we light. The brightness is in the mind, the brightness is in our behavior. So whether you've come into this world in a dark way or a bright way, the important thing is that you can leave in a bright way. And the choice is yours. After all, you're the one who can train yourself. This is what makes human beings special, different from animals. Animals have to be trained by other people or by other animals. But human beings can train themselves. Each of us can train him, him or herself. And that's what makes it special. So take advantage of that ability. Don't let it go to waste. <laughs>